Hey, hey Vikings, Vikings, it's time, time for, for registration. registration. Hopefully you got to learn more about the courses you want to take next school year from the elective scramble. With that information, you can now fill out the registration form, which should have been given to you in your STARS class period alongside the registration guide. But how does this form and guide work? Well, we're here to help you out. First, the Hila High School's registration guide for the school year 2024 to 2025. The course catalog is here to help you make choices for your next year in high school. So please read through this guidebook very carefully. The first page of the guidebook holds the principal's message, table of contents, and scheduling policy. On the second page of the guidebook is the general information, such as students' residence, exemption and admission, health requirements, school day info, grade level promotions, summer programs, graduation requirements, and your personal transition plan, or the PTP. The guidebook also provides information about various clubs to join on campus, the graduation requirements that we went over in the previous video, and schedule related information. Speaking of schedules, we will go over the schedule change policy, which states the following. One of Hilo High's learner outcomes is to teach our students to act as responsible citizens in the community, state, nation, and global society. With this in mind, students should make careful, thoughtful decisions during registration. To maximize classroom learning and minimize disruption, students and parents should be aware that 1. Schedule changes may be only made during the following reasons. Incomplete schedule, class missing, credit previously received for the course, incorrect level placement, course required for graduation, scheduling error, same course on the schedule, administrative mandated change, or IEP, or MP team decision. Not liking a course or teacher is not a reason for changing classes. Two, approved schedule changes are only allowed during the first two weeks after the first start of the first semester. Second semester changes may only be done during the two weeks before and after the start of the second semester. Registration forms are due on December 4th. Failure to turn your form in will result in you getting classes chosen for you, and you might be put in a class you don't want or need without the ability to change it, so be diligent. The next few pages are the various academies, the freshman, business and natural resources, health and human services, and construction and engineering. In each page, it gives you information about their mission and various classes or pathways provided in each academy. Next are the course descriptions. These are organized by departments such as Career and Technical Education, or CTE, Fine Arts, English Language Arts, Health and Physical Education, JROTC, Math, Science, Social Studies, World Language Arts, and Multidisciplinary Courses. Each course has a brief description, the credits earned, how long the class lasts, and the course number, and any other information regarding the course. For example, say I wanted to take General Art. General Art 1 is a year-long course that is worth one credit. I would put the course number FVB1000 in my registration form. Now that we have gone over the guide, let's look over the registration forms. There are four different types of registration forms. Registration for the class of 2028 or the incoming freshmen. Registration for the sophomores or the class of 27. Registrations for the 2026 junior year and the class of 2025 senior year registration. These registration forms are sim all similar to each other, so let's go over them. On the top of the registration form will be a place to put your name, phone number, current CTE pathway, and academy. Some of the choices you have will depend on the academy you're in. There will be a table on the form. This table varies depending on your grade level. However, any level 2 courses and above do require a teacher's signature approval, so don't forget to get it signed. Below the core classes table is the advanced placement courses. These courses are optional. However, if you wish to register for AP classes, you must get a teacher's approval and signature. Next is general elective courses. This is where you will need the registration guide the most. You have six spaces to fill with your electives. However, it is not guaranteed that you will receive the cl that class. So put the class you want at the very top. You would put the course title and course number in the second column. And if you need teacher's approval, you put their signature in the third column. You must fill in all the spaces. If your choices do not fit, the computer will choose the class that fit for you. On the next page will be academies. You can choose to stay in your chosen academy if you are a sophomore or a junior, and choose the next pathway you wish to pursue or change the academy you are in currently. If you wish to change your academy, the table below shows you various options to choose from, so choose an academy or pathway you want to pursue. On the last page is a reminder of the schedule change policy, which states the following. One of Hilo High's learner outcome is to teach our students to act as responsible citizens in the community, state, nation, and global society. 
With this in mind, students should make careful, thoughtful decisions during registration to maximize classroom learning and minimize disruption. Students and parents should be aware that, one, the schedule changes may only be made for the following reasons. Incomplete schedule, class missing, credit previously received for the course, incorrect level placement, course required for graduation, scheduling error, same course on the schedule, administrative mandated change or IEP slash MP team decision. Not liking a course or a teacher is not a reason for changing classes. Two, approved schedule changes are only allowed during the first two weeks after the start of the first semester. Second semester changes may be done during the two weeks before and after the start of the second semester. Under the schedule, the policy is where you confirm your choices. You and your parent or guardian must sign the registration form. Once you finish choosing your classes, turn it in to your STARS on December 4th, 2023. If you do not turn in your registration form by the due date, it will result in classes being chosen for you, and you will not have the option to change it. So please make sure to turn in your registration form. And, and there, there you have, have it. it. Remember, if you have any questions, seek out your counselor to help you make the best decisions for your high school career. Talk to your teachers, especially your core classes. They can help you choose the right classes for the school year 2024 to 2025. Make the best choices to have the best school year next year. Good, Good luck, luck, Vikings! Vikings.